Hey guys, welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. I am still at the Oceana Air Show down in Virginia, and today we're gonna check out the stairman behind me. Stay tuned. This is a piece of American history, boys and girls. And as you can see, this particular model has been fully restored in beautiful yellow color. And this actually is the original paint color that you would have on the standard stairman back in the day. Now a little history about this aircraft. They built them back in the 1930s and they were used as a trainer by the United States Air Force and they were used in World War II. And these things, they're not the fastest, okay? But they can do some amazing stuff. They can do some amazing aerobatics. And I apologize if you hear some noise behind me. There are air show stuff going on. But I'm just gonna give you a 360 view here. As you can see, the first obvious, actually, let me step back a little bit. The first obvious about this aircraft is that it's double wings. So this is a biplane. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people, a lot of pilots still use this as trainers either for aerobatics or to get their uh, tailwheel rated. And you see it is a tailwheel. It's not like a super stow or anything like that. One thing you also notice is that this aircraft is very low to the ground. Or I wouldn't say very, but it is quite low to the ground compared to all the tailwheels that you see out there but it is a very, very neat aircraft. All right, let's go around it. What this empennage reminds me of actually is a Piper Cub. See here, it says 83 US Navy. Again, this was a military trainer aircraft. Now, when you look in the interior, something unique about this aircraft is that it's typically flown from the back. That's what I've been told. You fly these from the back. Obviously, you can fly it from either position, but you typically fly them from the back. And as you can see, there's just as much room here as there is up here. And you see this particular model, like I said, has been fully restored. I mean, you don't have glass or anything, but you've got some nice analog panel there. Okay, you've got your single seat and you've got your middle stick. Another unique aspect of this aircraft is there is no cover. So this is, this is you and the air. This is you and the blue skies. You sit in one of these and you're right in the air. There's no canopy to cover you, which some pilots have told me that's the, that's the real way to fly because you get to feel all the air blowing at you as you're going up in the sky. So this is beautiful. Now let's check out the power plant on this thing. The standard engine on the Stairman is made by Continental and you get a little over 200 horsepower. And so this puts this bird as a high performance airplane, but like other military trainers that are older, you don't, you're not going anywhere fast in these. But that powerful engine does give you good climb rates, okay? So as you see here, this is your radial engine. I always love the look of these. See, this is not your typical modern engine that you see in a lot of piston engine airplanes. This is, this is pretty neat. And look at the beautiful prop here. We've got a wooden prop. Very neat. And I also love that there's no, there's no cowl and there's no cover to this. I love that this is so naked. Now, in terms of cost, I can't give you a specific number on how much you can get one of these today because chances are you have to buy something that's either been used or beat up and then you have to put a lot of money into it and bring it to shape like the one you see here. And what happened back in the 40s was after the war was over, you had over 10,000 of these that were manufactured and the military had no use for them anymore. So they had to sell them to civilians. So a lot of pilots, even people uh, in the military were the ones buying some of these. And more particularly, these came in handy for the farming industry. So because there were so many of them, these were used as crop dusters, okay? 
and obviously they had to be modified to get the spray gun and all that good stuff in there but you had thousands and you still have thousands of these are uh, being used for crop dusting and that's because of the capabilities of this aircraft you can maneuver them pretty good and if you know anything about crop dusting you're flying very low to the ground you're making steep turns low to the ground and this aircraft can do that and you see there it says your fuel capacity 46 gallons and guys just check out the description uh, in the video description I'll leave you some of the performance stats and data and also some of the pricing on this again you can't really get an exact pricing because there's so many of these out there and depending on the condition that you find them at that's what it's gonna cost you uh, but this particular one they use it uh, for a foundation and they use it obviously as you see here uh, for the air show so this is fully fully uh, brought up to date and it looks it looks really good okay guys so this is my review of the Stearman I hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did be sure to give a thumbs up and if this is your first time on Mojo Grip hit that subscribe button for me with notifications and guys if you want more exclusive aviation content be sure to check out Mojo Grip MVP the link is below and I will catch you on the next video